Hey guys, Mark Northeast Bastion. How you doing? Um, I did get uh, some goodies in the mail today. Got a got an order from Jim at uh, at Wicked Weights. I got one of these these coolers <laughs> to keep in my boat because I'll keep my iced tea and my water cold when I'm out there fishing this summer. But I wanted to grab one of these. Pretty nice. I think they have them on sale now, actually. But uh, grabbed one of these. Grab myself another gator for the summer. So I can keep the sun off of me and not get have to get all these things frozen off my face. But so I got myself another another Wicked Weights gator. To wear when I'm fishing this summer. Hope I got that upside. I hope I got that right side up and not upside down. But got another gator. And of course I had to get some good tungsten stuff. And you guys know that I love the underspin, so I got some of the sizes of those I didn't have. Stocked up on some Neds. I did lose a few tungsten Neds on the river the other day. And I just grabbed myself uh, some flipping weights, too. So I'll show you what I got here. Uh, I'll start with the with the, with the the underspin, since I got that's what I got the most of. I wanted to get some of the ones with the wider gap hooks. So let me see what I got here. These are all, these are all underspins. And you guys know I, I <clears throat> it's kind of a, something I kind of got away from. And then last year, getting some of Jim's underspins and throwing them, you know, on that, that Kitek, especially that 4.8, um, just did great with it last fall. So that's definitely going to be back in the arsenal this year. Uh, so let me see what I got here. Let me kind of organize these as far as weight and size goes. I'll actually organize them by the weight. So I did get one of the half ounce, and this is on a six hot hook. So this obviously is gonna be for your bigger bait, your bigger swim baits. So I'll show you. So this I can use probably, <laughs> some of those bigger swim baits you see back there behind me, this six hot hook um, will be nice. Now, as I said on the, uh, yesterday's video, if you guys have never thrown an underspin before, it's just your, you know, your wide gap hook. Here's the weight of, and this one happens to be a half ounce. This is a bigger weight, obviously. And you have your spin, your spinner blade under underneath. And then they have this little corkscrew here to screw that into the head of your uh, of your swim bait. But that's a six ounce, so that's for a big swim bait. Half ounce, six ounce. So this I will definitely use for the bigger swim baits when I throw them around. I got one of those half ounces. I got two three eighths ounce, and this is a three eighths four odd hook. <clears throat> this is a three eighths five odd hook. So still a little bigger hooks. Usually I'm using that three odd four odd on those Kitex, but this is the the four odd. So you can see that's definitely a little smaller than that big six odd, but same setup. So that's a three eighths with a four odd hook. And there's a 3 8 with a 5 out hook. So that's even... This will be for the big swim bait, too. But since I'm going to Champlain next week, I wanted to stock up on some of these other sizes. So there's the 5 out hook. In case I try some of those, like, those bigger swim baits. So there's it with the 5 out. I thought that was 3 8 right? Yep. So that's the other 3 8 size I got. And then the rest, last year I tended to, uh, if I really think about it, I think I probably used the quarter ounce size the most. So I got the, let me see what size hooks I got here. I think I didn't have the bigger hooks. And this is a real, this is a seven out hook <laughs> on the quarter ounce size. But I think the quarter is the kind of the, the size I threw around the most. But if you guys haven't, you know, if you're new to my channel, if you, if you look back to last summer, a few months ago, if you look back, ooh, I don't know back in my archives about six seven months ago you'll see a lot of a lot of days when i was fishing with these in the fall there and did well in the end of the summer but there's a seven knot hook so that'll be for a big swim bait so you don't really need a lot of weight when you're throwing a swim bait that big so those big kitex they might work on this one i have to try it so what did i say that was quarter ounce seven knot hook so seven knot hook quarter ounce of weight on there Oops. 
I'll drop it on the floor. Um, I also got the five odd and a quarter, the four and a six. Oh, so I got a six five. Odd. So here's the six odd in that quarter. Ooh. So you saw that six odd half ounce. There's that quarter ounce in the in the six odd. Like I said, for the big swim baits. And then the five odd in the quarter. You guys get the idea. And then the four odd. So I stocked up on my on those bigger hook sizes that I didn't have for those bigger swim baits that I want to throw this year. I also picked up um, a couple of the two packs, the one fifth ounce of the Ned Heads, because I, as I said, I think I lost two or did I lose three tungsten Ned Heads on the river the other day. So when I was looking at the site, I said, you know what, let me get a, grab a couple more tungsten ones. And that's the <clears throat> fifth of an ounce. Um, and that's a black, it's a one odd hook. And there's the green pumpkin one. So if you guys like throwing, you know, tungsten Ned Heads, if you're in a state like me where, you know, where you have to throw tungsten, you can get those from Wicked Weights too. And the fifth ounce is the size you like. There you go. So that's what the, the fifth of an ounce size looks. It's got a little little cover on there so you don't harpoon yourself when you're taking them out. Green pumpkin head. So that's the green pumpkin. And also got the black. I think that's the colors he's got, black and green pumpkin. From what I remember. Which is most of the time what I'm using black. Even though I have even though I have used the chartreuse ones. So there's the black one right there. And that's and a couple flipping baits. I didn't really have any of the quarter ounce flipping baits. So if you let me grab a couple of the quarter ounce sizes and I grabbed a couple of the three eighths. Can never have enough because you know if you lose lose baits. And I was kind of looking through my tungsten. It was a little low on a couple, so ooh. I can get it open. <laughs> so, if you guys who like to flip and pitch your soft plastics this season, if you need some flipping baits, this is the quarter ounce size and what I like. And you guys have know I've said this. It has the quarter ounce right on there. So if I mix these up in a box or they get get separated, I know what's what. So they come in a three pack. There's your quarter. There's what the packaging looks like. Just to remind you guys of the wicked weights packaging very cool and i also grabbed and it's a three pack for the three eights too I'll grab that hockey game's coming on. i'm going to try not to watch here while i'm talking to you guys <laughs> so you guys like a you know that like that matte black on there it's really cool so that's a, you guys can see that ww for wicked weights you can see the three eights hope you guys can see that it's not too blurry but there you go. So that's it. So that's what I got from Jim. It came today. Shipped real fast. I just ordered it the other night. So I got the little cooler here. To be great for the summer. And then a bunch of underspins, as you guys saw. I guess all together, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven different underspins. So I'm definitely stocked up for underspins for this season. And then a couple nets. Can never have enough nets when you. Oops, that's not a ned. That's a ned. Can never have enough nets when you throw them around the rocks. So, stock up on some nets and stock up on some flipping baits, which I cannot wait to do. But uh, that's it, guys. So I thought I'd show you that before I get everything put away. Um, as I said, I'm getting prepped for my uh, this week for my trip to uh, Lake Champlain for the on the fourth. Um, so I'm going to start getting some baits together. And uh, maybe I'll do a video on my prep for that trip and um, take it from there. But uh, any questions, let me know. And if you guys go to, <clears throat> I don't know if it's on the package here. Yes, it is. If you go to Jim's website, wickedweights.com. Um, and when you check out, if you put in the code NHBASS, all capitalized, you can get 10% off your order. So you can save yourself a little money. And I think it's... Uh, is it $50 or $75 you get free shipping? So, plus you can get 10% off too. So, NH Bass, I'll put that in the description. If you guys are interested, I encourage you to check in the archives of my uh, my my page here. 
and you can see the other videos I've done on uh, Jim's baits, which is a lot of underspin stuff. <laughs> a lot of underspin stuff. But uh, but that's it. Like I said, any questions, let me know. I'll put a link um, to Jim's site, wickedweights.com, and you guys can uh, can check it out and um, order up. Use that code NHBass, save yourself 10%, okay? So any questions, let me know. I'll keep you guys posted this week. Um, I'm going to try to fish a couple of times. So I, if I do fish this week, I will definitely hustle and get any on-the-water video I take. Uh, that's just not me casting. Like on the river the other day where you, it was casting practice. Um, <clears throat> but it's gotten warm again, so I think it should be good. So I'm going to try to get out a couple of days this week before I go away on Saturday and um then start the trip and then there'll be a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of stuff from lake champlain hopefully uh, but that's it so i'll keep you guys posted so um any questions on the wicked weights baits let me know but i encourage you to check out the website and as i said nh bass when you check out save yourself 10 percent. okay so i'll see you guys soon on youtube mark out